Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. This time we will play in Kratos' upper body. Let's start using Dark Seer as our base for the skin. Having applied two thin layers on the skin, we will move to the fur. We shall use Rhinox Hide. The fur also contains a small part on his side as well as the leather straps on his chest. If you did any small mistakes painting the fur, now is the best time to fix them using Dark Sea. Once the fur has dried, we will shade it using Agrax Earth Shade. Our target is to paint the external part of the fur around Kratos and his chest, so wherever the hair should be. After following the steps so far, your results should be something like this. Alright, now is the time to start painting the actual skin upon the greyish base. This will be achieved by one thin layer of Korax white. For those who like super thin layers like glaze, you can have two or even three layers. Our target is to cover all the raised muscle areas without leaving islands. Leave the deep recesses with those grey shadows. Working parallel to the skin, we will paint the inside part of the fur. We will blend 1 to 1 Rhinox Hide with Dumbled Brown and apply the color to all internal parts of the fur. Use the same color solution to make some highlights on the leather straps. On the straps, after the highlights have fully dried, we are going to apply right clan flesh shade.
while waiting for the shade to dry, we will make a mix of Corax White and White Scar, 1 to 1 ratio. We will apply a set mix on top of the pure Corax White on Kratos' muscles. The area applied should be just a bit lesser than the Corax White. Now, using pure white scar, we will paint the peaks of the most raised areas on the model. You may also highlight any detail you see fit. Back on the fur, we will use pure Dumble Brown and paint the raised areas of the fur. Using Dumbo Brown, we will also edge highlight the leather straps. And here are the results of our work so far. Using Scrag Brown, we are going to paint the most raised areas of the internal part of the fur. We are also going to apply one layer to the edge highlight we had on the straps. Using Iron Hand Steel, we are going to paint the nails on the straps. Apart from the nails, we will also paint the buckle. Once our metallic has dried, we are going to shade it using non oil. Time to paint Kratos' iconic tattoo. We will use 
corn red for this. Making a mix one to one of corn red and Kislev flesh, we will start highlighting the tattoo. We are using Kislev flesh instead of any white because white desaturates the color and Kislev flesh just changes a little bit the color but without making it weird. Moving up to the shoulder guard, although there are two pieces, we are only going to show how to paint one of them here, we will apply Rhinox Hide to the whole of the piece. When the Rhinox Hide has fully dried, we will shade the internal part using non oil. Using a mix of Dumble Brown and Rhinox Hide 1 to 1 ratio, we will try to make some highlights around the guard. Right afterwards, we will get pure Dumble Brown and paint only the most raised areas where the light should hit. Having completed most of the piece, we will now focus on the lower part. Using Black Templar, we will paint the small piece of trouser that overflows. Moving forward, we will use Rhinox Hide to paint the leather belt around Kratos' upper body. Once again, we will use Iron Hand Steel to paint the belt buckle. We will use null oil both on the belt and the belt buckle. And there we have it folks. The part is complete and it looks awesome. For those who have reached this part, I would like to thank you for watching and please consider subscribing.